Welcome everyone to the Casual Esports Amateur League. This is the Amo here coming with you with a little tutorial on how to do some replay updates and make sure matches are submitted correctly for our seasons. Uh, if you're new to this as a new captain, new team, new player, or just need a quick refresher, this is going to be your quick hitter. Uh, how to uh, submit a match and make sure everything gets done properly. So first, make sure that you standings, uh, schedule, your match has been scheduled and you play it. Hooray, all that's done through the Discord. So then we're gonna have your match, right? So match history was to be the first thing you do once you do, and so I'm gonna pick this game right here because this is the ARAM uh, that I'm using for an example that I just played the other night. So this is gonna be the view on web button, and when you click that, it's going to bring up the URL. This is what it's gonna be like. In custom modes, the reason why I have to do this is because this will show up if you played in the game, the names, but if you did not play in the games, uh, then you, it will only say like Twisted Fate, Nami, Leona. So you that's why we have to do this uh, format manually because of the way the API works with Riot Games. So you'll de upload, that's the URL you'll be needing. Next thing is this button right here. This is the watch replay, but because I've already downloaded the match, download. Now my replays go to a folder called replays and I've already dragged and dropped it uh, right here onto my desktop and I've labeled it game one. Please rename your files something uh, relatively simple so we can uh, know who played and what game it is to lose the confusion between any of that information. So now that you have your replay and your web URL, uh, we're going to go to the website here that updated. And one last thing you need to do actually with that replay is, so you can use multiple systems. It's all the instructions here are in the appendix I. You can use you know Dropbox, ShareX, uh, Google Drive, all ways to create a URL for the match uh, that we have here. So I've, uh, you just new, upload file, and uh, game one, raw, uh, and then you just right click it, get link, and then it's gonna ask you, copy link here. Anyone with the link can view, right? So you wanna be able to view uh, the game file. People wanna be able to download it. This is mainly gonna be used for casting matches. We wanna be able to get as many teams casted and VOD casting uh, can help us increase up the number of matches we cast due to just so many teams and divisions out there. We wanna make sure that all the, everything, everyone at least gets on stream at least once. So highlight as many teams as we can. VOD casting can help with this. Also, if you wanna scout your opponent, or uh, this is the way to do it because if every team's uploading all their matches, we can go back into it. This also helps with uh, potential rules violations. If teams uh, are breaking rules, we can always go back to the games and look at it in that way. All this should be pretty submitted. So once you have that link, and you have all the links here, so you can just copy link. Hooray, I've copied it. You're gonna go, and I'm just gonna pick Imagine Mountain because they're the first team on the standings page. As a tribunal uh, member, I have admin permissions, but uh, only the captain should be able to do this. So I'm just gonna go to the bottom match here so I don't mess anything with up. Team with side selection, home team. Whoever is the home team, that's who you put in here. Pro Draft Spectate Link, there's a Pro Draft tool that we use for our drafting. If you don't know how to use that, the, there's a bot, uh, exclamation point, make Pro Draft, and it will ask, just follow the prompts, and it will create the Pro Drafts for you. If you do not know how to use that, ping your division liaison uh, to help you get that straightened out. And it's a pretty simple tool. The pros do use this in their practice mode uh, and how they do their drafting. Uh, on to the next thing, match history link. That's where this URL comes from. This number right here is very important uh, to the match. When you download the match, I've already renamed mine game one, but when I hit the download button, this number, the 37614268311 uh, number, that's the actual match ID number. That is super important uh, and that should match the URL, like not the URL before you rename it. That number should match the name of the replay. That will have that number in there as well. So then you just, you know, it's copy paste the, you know, pro draft tool in here, copy paste the match history link in here, and then copy and paste the, uh, the your Google link or Dropbox or ShareX or whatever tool you're using to create the URL, just drop it in there. Currently, we just have MVPs for your own team uh, being submitted on the website. So this is, once again, drop down links. Just click them, find the person, type the letters and the name, and they should pop right up. And then honorable opponent will be on the Discord in the match room. Just say who the honorable opponent is, or if you don't want to do it there, you can DM your li division liaison 
to get them to update that as well. Hopefully for Season 6 and going further, we'll have uh, Honorable Opponent as another option here in these boxes. Champions, drop-down boxes are all pretty good, pretty well. Do not check. There's the blue side winner. If blue side wins, you check this box. If red side wins, don't check this box. Forfeit only if a team forfeits, and the only way you should be ever clicking the forfeit button is if a tribunal member or division liaison uh, tells you specifically to click the forfeit button. Now we have uh, games one and two, because this is a regular season match. Playoff matches, there will be potential of games one, two, three, um, or four or five, depending on how everything goes for those particular teams. And then there's the submit button right down here. So... There is, it's pretty simple, uh, but I know it's kind of complicated, so I went over it very fast here. That's why we made this video, and that's why how this sort of steps through to get the replays specifically uh, are in the, uh, the rules document under Appendix I, and the link to this video will be there as well. If there are any questions, please you know DM your division liaison. We want to be able to get this uh, sort of straightened out, and the faster you do this, once again, must be done as soon as you can due to either game history or the fact that a patch comes through and we can't, you can't go back in the patches. So if you play on like a Monday or Tuesday night, uh, especially, particularly if you play on a Tuesday night, needs to be done that night. Otherwise, you will not be able to get the uh, replay up on file. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for watching. This is Amos signing out, and hopefully uh, you find success here in SEAL.